<laughs> but you knew that this one, man. Right? <laughs> yeah, you knew? Yeah. <laughs> and it is by Nathan Ake. And then it was seven. Looks for that, and it's headed in. It's Ilkay Gundogan. I'm Nathan Aki. Hi, I'm Mikhail Gundogan. And this is Ati Salat brings you closer. Um, Andrew from Luxembourg is asking, which sporting icon inspired you growing up? Um, but there wasn't really one standout where I was saying, okay, yeah, this is my icon, I want to be so like you this. Didn't, you didn't want to be, become a centre-back? <laughs> <laughs> no, when I was young, I was, I was like a striker, you know, left winger, striker. Um, so uh, when I got older, I started to watch the centre-backs and stuff. Cameron from South Africa, what do you cook when you're trying to impress a dinner guest? Wow. <laughs> really, I, I don't really have something. I mean, I like to do rice pudding when I'm at home. Um, it's, it's quite easy, <laughs> so it's more like a, like a dessert. But um, cooking is not, not really mine. Um, <laughs> I, have, uh, I have my fiance, uh, thank God. Uh, she likes to cook and she does a lot of stuff. Um, apart from that, my mom, when she's here, uh, she cooks amazing, so... Um, no Turkish meals or I'm, anything? No, not really. No. I'm a bit spoiled by the woman, I think, uh, in my family. <laughs> Alice from Wales. If you had to pick three teammates to join you on a desert island, who would it be? <laughs> oh, difficult. Um, I'd say uh, probably Zhao first because uh, he's not scared of anything. He will, uh, you know, if there's certain things going on there, he will, he will protect me. Second one, maybe uh, Kev, because yeah, he speaks Dutch, it's easy to speak with him and relax with him. And uh, yeah, he's good in seeing things, you know, so he might find, you know, food and stuff <laughs> like that. Uh, Assist and then, you with food. Huh? Assist you with food. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and then, um, I was gonna say you, but we need a cook, you know, to, to, no. to so it's no chance. Uh, who can cook? Ruben, I think he, he, can, he likes to cook and stuff, so I'll say Ruben. Mark from the UK, which of your Man City teammates has the best first touch? I'd probably say Bernardo. Um, I think uh, his abilities technically are, are incredible. Um, for, the, for the size he has also on the pitch, he's protecting the ball from, from everyone. Um, I think also because his um, technique on the ball is just incredible um, and that's why I would go for Bernardo. Even though Riyad is also He's going to be angry, eh, Riyad? Riyad will be angry. <laughs> Alex will also be angry, but he has nothing to do <laughs> up top there. <laughs> um, Lottie from the UK, when did you learn to play the piano? Um, in the first lockdown. So uh, we had like, uh, yeah, in the end it was like two, two and a half months or something inside. So I always wanted to play like an uh, instrument, uh, instrument, but I never really had the, the time or the, yeah, just to, to do it. And this time we had a lot of, lots of time. So uh, yeah, I got a piano um, and I started to, uh, sorry? Did you order one for the lockdown? Or you yeah, yeah, one just in lockdown from, uh, from Amazon ordered it. It came and then, yeah, just um, there's like an app and uh, yeah, you can just learn by yourself. And that's what I've done and that's how I started. And then, yeah, now I just want to progress and actually be with the teacher and stuff. Uh, Fabien from Brazil, what's your best memory with the team? Um, I think there are a few. I think um, the first Premier League title was, uh, was quite, quite impressive, I think, you know, uh, earning 100 points the season as well. Um, that was a quite impressive run. Um, played a lot of finals uh, at Wembley. Uh, a lot of cup finals um, and won them, I think, uh, most of them as well. So lifting, lifting the titles is, is always something special and a big reward after a season. Andre from Zim Zimbabwe, which of your teammates inspires you the most? I would say probably um, Kevin, um, knowing him a long time already from, from when I was at Chelsea, he was there as well and to see how back then maybe things didn't work out, um, didn't go well. He went for his own chance, he left uh, to Germany, he played, played loads there, he played a lot, played well. And then still by working hard and showing your talent and stuff like that, with um, setbacks and stuff, still coming here and performing the way he does and winning the things he did. I think, um, yeah, that was a big motivation um, that 
whatever happens, like setbacks or things to go wrong and stuff, you can still still do well, still make it uh, in the top. For sure, so. Mohammed from the UAE, do you have any pre-match traditions? Not really traditions. Um, I I have a certain rhythm, I would say, um, depending on what time we're playing, and um, certain habits. I think as everyone has. Do you have like superstitions and stuff like where you? A have little to bit. Play like I. I put my shoes on, my right shoe on first, you know, or my right sock on first. I go on the pitch with my with my right uh, foot first. This kind of things, but that's just because I feel I feel good. With yeah. it, you know, like it's just uh, something, an habit, yeah. you know, that you have inside yourself. So yeah. probably everyone has a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Kenny from the USA is asking, finally, who has the best hair, you or Jack? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Tough, you know. I need to back myself. He, I know he backed himself last time, so I'll back <laughs> myself. But uh, yeah, it's up to other people. But he's for sure gonna say like I copied him now with the with the hairband, you know. But uh, no, I said myself. <laughs> Debbie from the UK, tell the viewers something interesting about me that they might not know already. About me, so Again? about me. About Nathan. Um, maybe that. You're getting married in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many yeah. people know that. Do you guys know it? So, <laughs> good one, good uh, one. Yeah, it's yeah, good uh, getting serious. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you should. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult, man. All the planning uh, and stuff. Oh my god. Actually, Debbie from the UK is asking me the, the same, same question. I think. Oh my god. Tell the viewers something interesting about me that they might not know already. <laughs> I can say the same, you know. But you knew that this one, right? <laughs> yeah, you knew? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. I thought... Uh, no? I don't know. No, how did you do it? Can you explain? The proposal? It's nice, huh? How I did it? I took her out for, for dinner and she was complaining all the time. Oh, I'm tired and this <laughs> and that. <laughs> and basically, I had to... 90 minutes at dinner, I had to hear complaints and everything. <laughs> and she's tired and why do I want to go out for, for a meal? I wasn't sure anymore if I should propose still or not. And then uh, I said, okay, let's go home. Everything was prepared. And suddenly she wanted to stay. No, I want to sit a little bit longer. I want to finish my glass of wine. And then, uh, yeah. Um, but then in the end, everything worked out. Oh, everything perfect. was prepared at home. And then I just proposed and... Uh, good decision She stuff. was happy. Yeah. Good. Yeah, good decision, of course. <laughs> I mean, if I would say otherwise, I would be killed. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm still happy. Good as you are, so. Yeah.